Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading for April 15th to April 21st, uh, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you guys once again that that is a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign. Oops, excuse me. And uh, for that reason, the reading itself is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different uh, Capricorn. If you want, however, your personal situation to be analyzed by me, uh, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video and to uh, tell you what is going to happen with it in the future, that is the subject of a private reading. And uh, for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the uh, private call readings. So uh, that being said, going to the general uh, reading uh, for the Capricorns, the first card that marks the topic of your week, that is going to be the Queen of Cups, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach to all the situation here, that is going to be the Moon card, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach to all the situation. Uh, we do have the uh, Justice, and the last one that will be the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot we do have the full card so once again that is going to be the queen of cups uh, then it is the moon card after that it is the uh, just, uh, justice and the last one that is going to be the full card so for what it seems capricorns this week is going to be a week where you are really gonna plan your future guys i mean with the queen of cups here uh, one is to uh, obtain deeper understanding of the nature of the plights that one goes through. Not only that, but as, when, but, but as well, one, meaning you Capricorns, are going to have the emotional support through those plights as well. So let's say that um, some of you guys or you guys uh, had a recent breakup or you have been recently fired from job and so on and so forth, or you generally suffered a certain poignant event which made you feel really bad emotionally. So you are to understand the core of the plight or what truly makes you feel bad, why you are feeling bad, and you will be able to take the appropriate measures regarding it, which is going to be the foundation and the prerequisites for you planning your distant future in a way that no longer you are to experience the same kind of difficulty or the same kind of disappointment or poignancy that is. Additionally to that, it with the Queen of Cups, it is very... Um, possible as well that you may be shared as a certain secret because um, someone uh, with this card uh, a person may trust you so much that they can tell you a, a very confidential information that is which you need to keep in in privacy as well all right so you can have that ace in your sleeve and you should not kind of burst it out straight away or kind of shoot all of your arrows uh, from it but instead wait for the right moment that to happen nonetheless with the queen of cups this week as a topic you will get to uh kind of calmly because it, it's 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 going to be really a calm week calmly prepare yourself for the jump that you are about to do at the end of the week itself making the plans how you can do it most efficiently here uh, and definitely we're talking about a support that you will have with the tree uh, of pentacles as the formation here it is a passive uh, passive friends so you are to have support through your development as well very meaningful conversations that you're going to lead with the queen of cups that is uh, because it's going to manifest as simultaneously as a person and as well as your state 
and uh, through those conversations it is likely that you are going to find out that there is nothing to suffer from for example from that breakup or from that you have been um, suspended from job as well because the best is yet to come i mean the life is constant in, in constant improvement only if one has the support required for it and it seems that this week you are capricorns going to have the support through your development now we're talking about some sort of a cooperation here and as well um, how can i place it a uh, uh, some sort of a uh, constructive criticism uh, that you will have to endure from from this lady here the queen of cups and uh, through that constructive criticism capricorns uh, you may kind of like you may feel bad about it all right that someone criticize you but in the same time you will take under a, a, a account why things aren't working for you uh, then the next card that we do have that is going to be the moon which is the negative approach to the situation and the moon appears more like a um, a guidance card rather than a card of event the moon does represents um <clears throat> in this in this specific case um a vagueness and um lack of stability uh of trying or kind of like planning for the future hoping that you can resuscitate the previous situation meaning you know uh reconcile which what the ex that you have broke uh, that you that you broke up with or um getting back on the same kind of job and so on and so forth so <clears throat> this card here points you that there is no reason you capricorns trying the previous ways or rather like uh, the previous performance that you did or trying to manifest the previous um enterprises which did not work out for you so you gotta try something new and this new thing that you gotta try will be carefully deliberate deliberated and planned along with this woman here the queen of cups that manifests as she very well knows what you truly need uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the six of um, wands here and uh, it's definitely your success doesn't lie on the old path. You got to take the new path here. I, a completely brand new direction where you are going to get recognition. You're going to collect the fruits of your labor and as well there are going to be people to support you. So old path is a bad thing. You gotta learn, you gotta look for a new opportunity, new opening, new beginning, which comes at the end of the week here with the full card. But beforehand, we do have one more, which is the positive approach toward the situation, and we have the justice. So justice here shows that you need to uh, discern very carefully what is achievable and what is not achievable. Along with that. You have to as well structure your priorities very accurately, meaning that with, when the justice comes around, one needs to be very objective about its objectives. Meaning that you cannot, for example, uh, have a car without being able to uh, support it with gasoline or with gas or with, with diesel, that is. All right. So you got to first do the prerequisites. You got to first lay the foundations and then, you know, you can go for the grand thing. Justice here points as well on, on a positive end that justice, law and order obviously are going to be in place. Therefore, you ain't going to be mistreated. You ain't going to be as well lied. And uh, um, if you have uh, planted a positive seeds back in the past, they are going to be reaped furthermore. On a positive end, uh, with this card, your relationships, should you be in one, are likely to adopt a, a very balanced standpoint in a sense that everybody attends to uh, their responsibilities, you know, not try, not transferring a responsibility over to the partner. For example, if you have uh, settled with your wife or with your husband that they're going to take the kids, you know, they will not out of nowhere kind of like transfer this responsibility to you or vice versa as well the accompanied card here of the just of the uh justice that is going to be the nine of cups and the formation is active neutrals that we do have and uh it seems well that is a difficult combination to be um 
to be interpreted. The Nine of Cups it does represent a sensual joy, a wish fulfillment, but it's a, a very temporary one. I mean, in order for you to traverse it into a long-term thing, uh, it needs to be secured. Further, um, further actions needs to be taken, and um, as a, a neutral card to the justice, it does mean that there are better ways for you to do things. Only if you, um, only if you kind of have the open mind, you know, to see the real. Uh, the real manifestation of your priorities. Like I said, it is a good thing having that car, you know, but, and you may have the finances right now to, uh, to buy it. And once you buy it, it's a short, short term happiness because how you're going to support it if you don't have the income. One is, one thing is to have the finances currently stockpiled. Another thing is to have the income, isn't it? So it's, uh, you have to be very mindful when it comes to fulfilling your wishes and you got to think of how you are to fulfill that wish, but as well to sustain it. Because this is the end game here. Fulfilling your, your wish throughout the week is not going to be a problem, guys. Sustaining it, it is, it is the real deal. And before you go forward with that, with fulfilling your wish, like I said, you need to make your firm plan how you are to sustain that wish. Because let's uh, give you another example, all right? <clears throat> you want to be with that really handsome woman or really handsome guy that likes to party. They just like luxury, all right? And they give you a chance, okay? But you don't have a plan how to sustain that luxury. And so a couple of weeks later, they decide that right, simply you don't fit well. So it, it is best right now not to be uh, frantic or rather like premature with jumping into this um, with this support that you're going to have from the queen of uh, from the queen of cups <clears throat> forward but beforehand like i said you know make a firm plan how not only going to make your wish come true but as well how you are to sustain it in the long run and finally, we do have the full card at the end, which manifests should you follow here the guidance of Tarot that offers you a brand new beginning, obviously. So you, there you go. You got your new job, for example, or your new project or your new relationship or your new life. If it depends what you are after here, guys. But with the full at the end, your ideas will finally going to find a, a field to be planted. As well, you are going to feel that how can I place it, uh, light hardness and as well being very detached from the seriousness of the situation itself. Everything will seem as an art, art will seem as a muse. Muse is going to dapple your life. So everything is going to be brilliant, dapple with multiple shades. And all that is going to matter is the end goal of yours. And it is how it should be. And at that point, a leap of faith is going to be required. I mean, you made your prerequisites, you made your, you, you laid down your foundation here. And from that foundation, you need to take that leap of faith, jumping on forward. And with the, um, two of pentacles here as a shade which is a the, the formation is active uh, active enemies it seems that your plan is going to work very very well i mean should you take your time to do it your plan is going to be flawless as the uh, two of pentacles points that uh how can i place it uh that uh what was it uh what was i about to say i'm sorry guys i'm a bit tired um the best results are achieved when one doesn't go with established concepts. It is what the Two of Pentacles uh, says. As a enemy to the fool, it is just on the contrary, all right? So everything goes with established concepts and established plans. You don't have to be playful, all right? You just go according to your go-to-go -go list here that you have created throughout the week and everything is going to be fine and uh, the leap of faith is just on a go it's just going to seems a leap of faith because you have that solid foundation and a person to support you through it so that being said capricorns this was your uh weekly tarot reading for april 15th to april 21st 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again that was a general reading for capricorn star sign 
and for that reason the reading is going to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Capricorn but should you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot just like I did for the few examples in this video and to give you uh, to or to tell you what is going to happen with it in the future that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.